My name's Phil Gordon from the Australian Museum. I'm manager of Indigenous projects at there. The Aboriginal Advisory Committee on Repatriation, which I'm co-chair of, uh, plays an important role in the, the overseeing and of the national repatriation policy, which is a policy that aims at returning ancestors and secret sacred objects to communities, but also the international component of that, the bringing back of ancestors from overseas museums. I'm Chrissy Grant and uh, I have my own consultancy and it's across um, Indigenous land, um, heritage and environment issues, um, taking into account you know, those, all those associated areas that uh, are connected and interrelated. It's really useful for, for us to understand exactly what the department is uh, doing and conducting under the Indigenous Repatriation Program and so it's important for us to be able to give them that sounding board and, and act as a sounding board for them uh, around Indigenous engagement, Indigenous consultation, ensuring that all of it is done according to the you know, best practice standards that is around at the moment. Yeah, I think to bring the, the remains back and have an Indigenous repatriation program is just fulfilling the community and making them whole again. You know, part of what's missing from their community are their ancestors in some cases that have been taken overseas um, or held in museums here in Australia. And I think, you know, sort of the, the, the thrust behind all of that is just fulfilling the community's um, cultural obligations, um, you know, sort of social and, you know, weaving their cultural um, um, you know, sort of outcomes into having them returned back to their lands. Repatriating ancestors, ancestral remains to communities is important for the ancestor in the past and it helps their spirit gain peace, but also for the land itself, which is longing for that ancestor to be re-interned and that the land itself will be at peace then. And the, the repatriation of objects, sacred objects, is a way of um, maintaining cultural connection to the objects and maintaining culture. For the communities, the return of ancestral remains is, a, is an alien concept because once ancestors were interned in the land, or they weren't, they weren't taken away. So the communities themselves have to come through, uh, think through the repercussions of that, um, what, what uh, ceremony may need to be undertaken, where do you re rebury the ancestor, how do you make sure the ancestor is not disturbed? And some, sometimes these can take years for the community to discuss amongst itself and to come up with a, a solution.